Hi, I'm North Star member Karen Green, and today I am talking to Susan Matthews, who is on North Star's advisory board. Hi, Susan. Hello there. How are you? It's so nice to be here, Karen. <laughs> awesome. So how long have you been on North Star's board? Well, actually, I go back a long way with North Star. I was on the board of NAMI Multnomah beginning in 2004, and during that time, a woman named Charlotte was looking for a way to find something for her son who was very isolated and had a mental illness, some place for him to be during the day. So she came to the board after she found out through some internet research that she'd done that there was something called clubhouses. So she came to Nami Multnomah's board and I think at the time I may have been president of the board Another very strong North Star supporter, Don Moore, was also on the board at that time. And we voted to provide $25,000 to get North Star started. So you can say that I've been with North Star, either on the NAMI Multnomah Board or on the North Star Advisory Committee or the North Star Advisory Board, because it's had all those names, since the beginning in 2010. And that's when we got started. So you're basically one of the moms of this clubhouse. You could say that. You could say that I have a very strong maternal and and also loving interest that's just kind of wanting so much to see this model succeed here because it's brought a lot of help to people in a lot of other places, uh, over 300 clubhouses worldwide. What sparked you about this clubhouse model when you were at NAMI? What got you hooked on the idea? Well, this goes back to my personal life and Virginia. When we were living, not a person, but the state of Virginia, we were living in Fairfax County in the 90s. And our son became very ill in 1992. He was in graduate school at Georgetown. And he really became psychotic. He was on INH at the time. We thought that might be the reason for it. On the other hand, I, my mother had become mentally ill when she was in her 40s. So I thought this might be more complicated than we think because here there's suddenly this familial thing seems to be presenting itself in my son's generation. So anyway, the thing that was interesting though, Fairfax County is a wealthy county and their mental health program was astonishingly comprehensive. There was a place called Maryfield Social Center, but it was like, you know, where you went in and you kind of felt your way around after you were no longer hospitalized and you eventually felt well enough to do something like be the person who answered the phone or some other clerical duty. And then they eventually found supported employment. These were the steps that our son followed. So within a year of having been diagnosed with a very serious illness, he had a full-time job, but it was a supported job. It didn't pay very well, but he was really glad to have a, a job where he was doing clerical work for a newspaper. So he gets well. He moves to Los Angeles. He works there. He lives there for eight years. Then in 2004, he becomes ill again, which I know can happen. He got very stressed out about various things, and by then we'd moved to Portland. So he comes to live with us. There's nothing like the Maryfield Social Center. And then comes this whole idea about clubhouses. So here I'm saying, my goodness, here's my son suddenly needing this too, that this dear woman Charlotte brought to mind. And so then suddenly I'm saying, boy, we need this. They had it in Virginia. It wasn't called a clubhouse, but it functioned similarly, and not at all in, in Portland. So you could say that truly my passion for helping people with a mental illness is based upon the fact that I have a lived experience as a daughter and as a mother of how hard it can be to have one of these illnesses and how important it is to have the right kind of community support. So what kind of humble beginnings did North Star have in 2010? Well, $25,000, it doesn't go very far, as you can imagine. So what we had was an 800, roughly, square foot apartment that was actually part of NAMI Multnomah, and it was free for us 
because it was part of the Providence system and they, they had essentially made those apartments tax-free for, for NAMI. So we had this little apartment and we had one staff person paid and she was probably available to us about six hours a week. So North Star was only open part-time three days a week. That was it. And the other help was all volunteers. And none of us, including our paid member, really knew much about what a clubhouse was supposed to be. So we were really starting out with, okay, let's just at least have a place where people can come and we'll try to get this going. And the thing that really moved things along really was, I guess it was a year later when we were able to, with money from Multnomah County, lease the first part of the suite A of this building and hire Bill Waters. I mean, that was a huge turning point because here was a man who knew a great deal about Clubhouse and who just happened to be available to us because he lived in Vancouver and his wife uh, very much wanted to be there where she had a son. So it was serendipity and it was very lucky and he really, I think, got things started in a very good way. So those were our humble but fortuitous beginnings. What do you think of where we're at now? We have our growing pains, but I would say there's been a huge amount of progress. And the progress brings more members, which bring more challenges, because we always need to have more funding to accommodate the growth, to do more reach out, to find, let more people know we're here, and eventually, of course, to outgrow this building and find a, a bigger, more expansive clubhouse. So I would say wonderful things. We've got three staff members plus Bill part-time. We've got nearly 140 active members. And over the years since North Star started, we estimate that maybe 600 individuals have come to North Star and found a home here and then moved on either through employment or a change of location. In other words, we've touched a lot of lives and I can feel very positive about that. What kind of pro tips do you have for other parents like yourself who have mentally ill children? If they haven't taken NAMI's Family to Family course, I think that's a good place to start because I, I really do feel that it gave me a level of an insight into what our son was facing. And heaven knows, when I was 11 years old and my mother became ill, nobody in our family knew what was going on. And it was, it was terribly frightening as a girl. And it was, I'm sure, unbelievably frightening for my mother. And then my father was simply anguished. And here we go, maybe now it's 35, maybe even close to 40 years back, that a dear woman named Fern Molmeyer brought the family to family course through NAMI Multnomah to our area. And I know it has done people a great deal of good. So number one, take that course. There's even one for parents of young children called Basics, another good idea. And the the second thing that I would wish that there were more parents that were able to do this, because I know it's not always easy, but if you could just advocate for your child by joining NAMI, talking to officials who decide on how much funding there should be for mental illness, be your child's advocate and be there when there's decisions being made. And if you are fortunate to have the wherewithal to give to organizations like North Star, you should step up and do that. Come to our event, come visit this wonderful clubhouse and see for yourself what can happen when people come together and help each other recover. Because the third thing I would say is give your son or daughter an opportunity to be with peers because this is a surefire road to feeling better recovery through meeting and being with somebody who's been on that path, that that really does work. Any last words on North Star or clubhouses or mental illness? I feel like we're going to be better and better and better by virtue of the wonderful people that I have met who are members of North Star. 
And the very fact that North Star has an opportunity for me and for others to talk about mental illness and to reach out to the community, talk about it, listen to it, just the way they say on CBS Cares, listen, listen to somebody who's in trouble. Step up and break the stigma by George for not targeting and stigmatizing people who seem to be different. Well, thank you very much, Susan. You're welcome, Karen. Thank you as a North Star member for doing this. It's very, very dear of you. If you like this video and want to support North Star, please go to northstarclubhouse.org and click Donate.